when you hear people call you a Laker legend, what's your reaction? You know, I, I just, I love playing for the love of the game. Um, and um, I had a lot of success, but I also had a lot of people that helped me along the way and helped uh, me when I was a, a member uh, with the Lakers. Uh, you know, we were a team. Gil, you know, what's, the, what's the great thing about being a Laker? I think it comes with a lot of history um, and, of course, success. Um, I was a Laker fan growing up in Los Angeles when they were in Minneapolis. And then I was very fortunate to be drafted by them uh, when I graduated from UCLA. Um, but uh, and then, of course, the success is uh, has, has really, I think, um, uh, through the years, uh, in, and even certainly after I played, has made this franchise one of the great franchises uh, in the history of all sports. What was your most memorable moment as a member of the Lakers? The 1972 uh, championship uh, playoff wins uh, against the Knicks, uh, and we were the world champions. We had fallen short a couple of times before that, but at the beginning of the year, um, you know, we uh, had Bill Sharman and Casey Jones come in as a new coaching staff, and we just uh, we clicked early. Um, and uh, I think you know we were six and three, and then we went on that 33 game win streak, um, and that really uh, I think elevated elevated our confidence uh, as every game progressed. That streak that you that you and your teammates won that was at that time unheard of. Yes, it was. Um, you know, we, we just had a lot of confidence in our play. We had a good mixture of, uh, of talent, obviously. Um, and uh, everybody had uh, more or less different roles. Um, and it, it, we just came together as, as a unit. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, and, and certainly when I was at UCLA, at the end of the day, you won championships. And we got one there in 1972. Let us see Gail Goodrich's jersey. So you know how lucky you really are to have participated at UCLA and to play with uh, with the Lakers and with great people like Jerry. Well, there's no question about it. Elgin, Jerry, and then of course we'll late, later, a little bit later, but and then in Kareem even after that. Um, yeah, there's no question that uh, I was very fortunate, very blessed to, to have that. And to really play, you know, I played 14 years. Nine of those years were, were in Los Angeles. Uh, and, you know, Los Angeles has always been my home. Not now, but it's always been my home. Is there a phrase or a sentence or something that you, you wanted to have that kind of motivated you throughout the course of your career and throughout the course of your life? You know, I guess I got to go back to uh, the teachings of John Wooden. And he always talked about balance. I think that he always said that that's that's, that's one of two of the great wor words in our, our language was balance and love. And um, so I've learned both of those, of course, uh, you know, from well, love from my parents and also from Coach Wooden. But balance, I really learned from um, from him, I think. And one of the other quotes of John Wooden was, "Make every day." Uh, your masterpiece so that you know whatever you do make it the best you can do uh, make it your masterpiece um, and I think those are the kinds of teachings that I learned from Coach Wood and playing at UCLA that I that I sort of tried to carry over into into my life and that's why you are a legend <laughs> okay <laughs> You win, uh, but no, I mean, you know, it's, uh, again, I, I look back at my career as a basketball player. I was very fortunate, very blessed, um, and had a great deal of fun um, playing um, and winning. Um, and, you know, if you're gonna keep score, you might as well win.